Hi there, welcome to the Foreign Investors on India's weekly report. This week we have Nagesh Kumar, a director from UNSCAP, giving his views on India's role in the Silk Route. We also have Novaris from Australia, whose executive officials is giving a talk on how the company plans to set up a manufacturing joint venture in India. Indian engineers are also very much in demand globally, and that's the view of Mr. Satish Madhavan of Kavin Engineering. He will give us an update how the engineering companies are performing in the global market, and India has become an engineering backroom place for competitive design work. Uh, they are doing what do you think what do you see in, in inequalities inequalities in distribution of wealth well that, that will also be affected uh, positively by this uh, step of demonetization uh -huh. because one of the sources of inequalities in india has been the high concentration of uh, black money uh, in the hands of a few yeah. and by striking at that uh -huh. through demonetization, uh, one is uh, one can expect a very uh, important uh, reduction in inequalities. Right, yeah. and one of the unintended uh, effects of this is that a lot of people who have black money yeah. are uh, sort of uh, distributing it to, to 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 people who do not have. Right. Uh, I mean, uh, one is hearing a lot of un, uh, sort of uh, confirmed news that some people distributed away yeah. their cash to uh, uh, you know poor, and some of them are asking them to deposit in their accounts. My name is Tristan King. I work with Navaris, a lightning and surge protection company based in Australia. We have a manufacturing facility in Malaysia, and we have distributors across the globe. About a year ago, we started a joint partnership with uh, a distributor in India, Process Technique, and they uh, have started uh, giving access to our product uh, in India. And within the next couple of years, we're looking at setting up a joint venture uh, production facility to start producing those signal and power protection products in India. Uh, and that'll be a joint venture between Navaris and Process Technique. And we expect that to happen within the next two years. Make in India. Um, the idea is that we're going to um, push these products as a Made in India product, um, which the government is also pushing uh, towards with a lot of their projects to try and source a lot of these products internal to the country uh, to promote uh, knowledge and design within India. Which sector do you want to place your products? Which in infrastructure? So we cover a lot of different uh, areas. Rail is one of our strengths. Um, oil and gas is also a, a large strength of ours. But we're also looking at um, water industries, um, a lot of government projects as well. Any, anywhere we've got um, a power distribution or signal distribution, that's where you'll see our products installed. Rail rejuvenation and rail uh, infra infrastructure upgrading is going on. Yes. Yeah. Could yeah. You well, there's an amazing amount of uh, infrastructure ever since um, some of the new uh, shifts in government, we've seen a lot of money being invested actually into big infrastructure projects such as the MRT over in India, base infrastructure that a lot of these communities are actually needing and we're seeing a lot of uh, technological advances um, and bringing that technology up to uh, a lot more modern equivalents. India is planning, I understand that ONGC is planning to invest around $5 billion, uh -huh. uh, which will be uh, a new project coming up in Koji, uh, Kodavari, KG Basin in uh, in India. Uh -huh. So I think this will be uh, give, this will give a lot of opportunity for Indian engineering as well as EPC companies right. to participate. Okay. What about your Indian companies thinking on the regional projects? Are, is there any regional project coming your way globally? You said you've done some global projects. Are those projects coming your way? No, not much of projects there in uh, Middle East. Middle East, many projects are being put on hold. Uh -huh. But I think Asia-Pacific region, uh -huh. uh, India is uh, coming up with uh, new uh, offshore gas fields. Uh -huh. And Asia-Pacific is coming up with LNG projects. Yes. Recently, uh, Petronas has gone with the PFLNG-1. Uh -huh. Recently, they've got the first gas. Yeah. And how did you see, do you see that uh, 
Indian companies participation in the regional company uh, projects now in this I think Indian companies are becoming more and more being recognized for their capabilities uh -huh. Indian companies have got really a promising uh, future Definitely. Yeah. they have to put on they have to probably improve their marketing capabilities and uh, their skill sets are uh, are really proven and they have to improve a little a little bit further a lot of engineering groups have their what call a backroom uh, engineering services uh, base in India can you comment on that please yeah definitely India is a good market you've got a lot of potential for skilled labors other India is still doing a lot of back work like even we have our uh, engineering and project coordination office in uh, Singapore we are planning to do a lot of our uh, engineering back in India only right where where is it where, which is our center of excellence can you give a bit of a wrap up on the Kevin, your company? Yeah, Kevin Engineering is a, a really we are a successful company for more than 14 years, 15 years. We have done more than 250 projects across the globe. We have done projects in Americas. The government has approved the Bombay Urban Transport Project, which will cost nearly 11,000 crore. It will have a series of new corridor routes and will be buying 565 new co rail coaches during the process of construction. Singapore's Jungle Ventures, supported by Ratan Tata, has just closed the US dollar 100 million fund. It is a second fund after the first raised in 2012. The fund will be used to support startups in cities like Bangalore. Jungle Ventures, a venture capitalist, it's Existing supporters are includes the Masik Holdings of Singapore. India's capital goods manufacturing sectors offers $30 billion a year of opportunities, says a recently released study by McKinsey and the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry. The study will also covers opportunities for the global equipment manufacturers the study says that the capital goods manufacturing sector is underinvested. But given the India's push for foreign direct investment and liberalizing of business sector, the capital goods manufacturing sector is expected to boost its output in the coming years. Azure Power has started work on a 100 megawatt solar plant in Andhra Pradesh. It will be completed in 2017, says Azur. Azur is India's largest rooftop solar plant investor. We end this report with an announcement from Wipro, which has secured a major IT infrastructure contract from Woodside. Woodside is one of the largest oil and gas companies from Australia. Woodside will use Wipro's ServiceNext platform for IT across its projects, including offshore and maritime developments. India's defense sector will create business opportunities worth 250 million over the next 10 to 15 years. The government has released rupees 118 crore in the coming financial years for the farms mechanization of farm site.